The price has gone up in the battle to save lives from heroin overdoses, and there are concerns that the pharmaceutical companies may be gouging the growing market for their life-saving drugs. In Focus reporter Jeff Hager takes a closer look tonight. Few will forget when the company behind the EpiPen priced them out of reach for most allergy patients in pursuit of profits. And now some fear those who produce life-saving naloxone devices are following suit. If you are ready to use, pull off Red Safety Guard. It is arguably one of the most effective products on the market today for reversing the potentially deadly effects of a heroin overdose. FZO's voice-led auto-injector. And on this day, Kaleo Pharmaceutical CEO Spencer Williamson is supplying Baltimore with it for free. We are going to make a donation of 10,000 doses of naloxone to the city of Baltimore. It is the second time Kaleo has made such a donation here. But at what cost? Uh, saving a life is, is priceless, right? So it's, it's you know, 20,000 doses that hopefully will save thousands and thousands of lives. It's, 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 it's hard to put a number on that. But according to a December report in the New England Journal of Medicine, a twin pack of FZO, which cost $690 just over two years ago, costs $4,500 today. Williamson says that price is a product of middlemen like pharmacy benefits managers and insurance companies, while his company remains focused on saving lives. Our focus is really on the price. Price to the patients is zero dollars. Where the media has latched on to is a list price, which is really a price that very few people actually pay, and it's a price that the system is kind of driven by. While heroin overdoses have claimed more lives than homicides here in Baltimore over the last two years, City Health Commissioner Dr. Lena Wynn says naloxone has saved 800 lives, and products like FZO have been miracle drugs. For every 11 units that we place into people's hands, one person's life is saved. That's incredible. But as prices for the life-saving drug rise across the board, Wynn is calling on Maryland lawmakers to find out why. The price of generic naloxone has more than doubled in the matter of a course of a couple of years. And we want an explanation for why that's the case. If the price doubles, that means that if we have the same amount allocated by, by the city, then we're only able to save half as many lives. To inject, place black end against outer thigh. Thus far, the city hasn't purchased a single dose of the high-tech talking injectors with a price to match, but Williamson doesn't seem to mind. He says the company did raise its price last year, but only so it could give away more of the product to those who could least afford it. A young patient died that had a, prescri had a prescription, was blocked by their insurance company. We said that's unacceptable. So we started two things. One, a big donation program. And two, we found a way to say, you know what? We're going to make sure that even if it's blocked, Kaleo will step in and provide the product free of use. Unlike the EpiPens, Williamson claims 200 million Americans can get the auto injectors for free through their health insurance. As can people with a gross income of $100,000 a year or less or the indigent through Kaleo's charitable program. 